Leo, let's face it. You are at your very, very best when you are taking care of people. And I know that sounds like that's not a Leo thing. It is a Leo thing. Leo, and I've said it before time and time again, they are the king or the queen, but they are not a king or a queen that likes, that is okay or content with an unhappy pride. They like their kingdom to be ha happy and solid, and they feel really degraded and um, beside themselves when they feel that something in their kingdom has gone wrong and that they don't have any power to correct it. Now, there comes a time in your life when sometimes you have to give what you have not received, and that takes a whole hell of a lot of energy to generate, to generate those things that somebody else has not given you if you have been deprived of something during childhood or something has been um, taken away from you or reduced somehow in your life to then be put in a situation where you have to invent it and create it or figure out what it is when you haven't been given the example it's damn near impossible sometimes to figure it out and there's going to be a lot of bumps and bruises and breaks along the road and ultimately what you have right now in front of you is um filling in those bumps and breaks and figuring out where you went wrong even though you didn't know where you went wrong and certainly the intent was not to 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 go wrong the intent was to get everything right and now as things start to creep out or sneak up or there's less distractions around, you know, for you to be able to um, lose yourself in without having to really face all those cracks and breaks. It's like you're looking around and if you could use a house or a home as the metaphor for your life, you're starting to see, you know, um, empty nest is so much easier to see all the places where the paint has started to peel and things have started to chip away. And you may be young, you may not have an empty nest at all, but that's, it's just a metaphor of the fact that you've been so distracted with life um, that when you finally slowed down or were forced to slow down enough to see all the imperfections, they started to add up and a melancholy feeling came over you. Um, melancholy because there was so much that you realized suddenly. There was so much that you felt responsible for that you really were not responsible for, but you did feel responsible for it. And in some ways, um, and maybe in some ways you wish you didn't see it or you wish you didn't know it, but at the same time, you really wish that you could have seen it or known it sooner. You wish that this wasn't a reality at all. Like, how did that crack even get there? Was this water damage always in the house? Once again, follow along with the metaphor, just this sense of reality sneaking up on you and there had been something clouded or confused. It just added to this feeling of, why am I getting this wrong? Why am I, where am I not figuring this out? Why is this not working out for me? I feel like there's, it's something especially to do with relationships. This is not your relationship reading. Your relationship specific reading, Leo, is down below in that link that's below this video. It's in the extended. So there's a full tarot card spread and then um, a romance specific reading in the extended. And it extends these um, oracle card energies, you know. Um, so I don't, I try not to be general. I try to, I'm sorry, I try not to be specific too specific here because this is general and I want people to be able to apply the energies where they where they are um, where they apply in their lives but I can't ignore that in sitting in front of me is is a direct implication that this has something to do with a very connected relationship even I would say a relationship that was destined or meant to be that it was um, relationship that was central to your life whether it was your mother or father or whether it was you and your spouse or you and your ex-wife or ex-husband or somebody that you fell in love with and you didn't get a chance to be with in your life this is this is a huge relationship associated week for a lot of people and for you especially there was a central relationship for you um and i think that there is still just this almost this ambiguity that i was ascribing in the channeled message this this ambiguousness about 
um, that relationship that you still don't understand because it's like, why isn't this working out? Or why didn't it work out? Or um, what happened? Or what made things go the way that they did? Because it was such a central, such a central special relationship with you. And even if it is a relationship that you're still in, there is just that sense of, well, then I don't understand. There's something about it that you're not understanding. There's something in particular that is is sort of mystifying you of why things are shifting or why things are changing. Um, and ultimately, there's just this sense of discomfort right now. So let me tell you where I'm, I'm pulling this from. I have the man and the woman card here, and that tells me that it is a central relationship, maybe even a meant to be divine counterpart soulmate relationship. This relationship is central to your life, but there are cracks in it that you didn't notice before. There are breaks or weaknesses that you didn't realize before, and they're making you very uncomfortable. It, it, they're making you very uncomfortable because your foundation, it was found, your foundation is based on this relationship. It's fundamental to how you identify yourself now. So ultimately when when this relationship comes into question which it has um i see it right here this is your home life this is your home life this is your house this is your traditions and this is confusion or ambiguity or um something going wrong or something mysterious happening it's almost like it's almost like everything that you founded your your traditions or or what you know to be true on suddenly it's not necessarily there's something bad happening um um, or that something did bad happen or that secrets were, you know, like it's, it's really just all of a sudden it's confusion for the first time in your life you felt, or the first time in a long time, you felt this lack of stability where you've always taken stability from, and it's impacting you in a very guttural way, in a very, um, you know, a very, I think contemplative way because there isn't a sense, at least not from what I'm getting, there isn't a sense of, I better do something about this. I've got to do something about this. You really don't know how to act except to try to fix things or make things better or make things correct, make things well. Um, and there not, may not be, I just have to say this, it may not be about you. It may not be about what you have to do. The hardest thing that you could have to realize right now, Leo, is that what you have to do is sit back and allow. You have to sit back and trust that, honestly, um, this person is going to come to you. The situation is going to work itself out or um, that you have to wait for the answers to come to you. And I think that that is very difficult. It's a very difficult thing to ask you to do. But ultimately, um, it's what you need to do. There is this sense of um, you want to do something. What you have to do is take care of yourself. I think that's quintessential now. Your instinct is to fix the situation, to, to rush in and make the situation right. You can't make the situation right the only way you can make the situation right is to realize that there are aspects of yourself that you have let go neglected. And through neglecting them, you've actually neglected this, this very central relationship. So the only way that you can actually heal the relationship is to heal yourself. This card is saying that you need to take time to make yourself well, make yourself better, and focus on healing again. You've stretched really thin, Leo. It's, it's almost like there's so little of you left because you tried so hard to do so much and expand so far and you really have to start centralizing things again. That's when the relationship is strong. That's when you feel strong, when you are centralized and there is a center because you need it. Your center is your heart, is your core. It can't be all over the place and doing half a dozen things or a dozen things at once. So I think the centralization in your life, the focus has to come back into your life it's something that you have to um you have to make yourself do um there is positivity here there is a sense to move forward um to fill the well move forward this is healing yourself um the way to move forward and the way to make progress the way forward is through healing yourself and moving forward is something that you will do it's something that you um, must do you must keep going forward um and i think even a sense of 
of of going and trying some things that you haven't tried before this could even be traveling like get yourself out of where you're stuck in it's almost like you're stuck in a situation but simultaneously you're you're spreading yourself too thin how long has it been since you've actually gotten away and vacationed and taken some time off to explore that's what I think you need, to be totally honest with you, Leo, is you need to get away from your kingdom for a while. It's it's just bogging you down and it's driving you crazy because you haven't had time to actually relieve yourself or fill yourself up from something that is uh, different than what you're used to. This is a sense of go out there and, and indulge yourself. Um, go out there and explore. Go out there and just be you for a second. Like, it's almost like... It's almost like, you ever read that fairy tale, The Prince and the Pauper? It's almost like that. It's like you have to, it's like you need a different perspective. You need a different point of view. You need to go someplace where nobody knows you in order for you to find yourself again. Not because you want to run or you want to hide or you want to escape, but because, uh, because essentially you need it. You need it. You need to get away. Um, and you can't do anything in your current situation. I'm telling you that, right? Like, to be honest with you, there is really nothing you can do to impact your situation. Now, you have to hang back and be patient and allow the blessings or the solutions or the answers. You have to allow them to come to you. And as for you, what you have to do is take care of yourself because there could very well be this cloud or this doubt that's been cast right now because you've gotten um but you're at least being perceived to be extremely out of hand extremely volatile and not that people are giving up on you it's just that they don't know how to help you and the truth is they really can't help you all they can do is be consistent and let you know that they care about you but you have to decide to trust them trust them that they're going to be there when you get back trust them and believe them to know that you know they care about you enough to sort of give you the things that you need even if you have to leave for a while I know that sounds crazy but this is the card of receiving like things have been wonky and things have been crazy and it's just a sense of knowing that you have to step back and just let the universe provide right now there's no forcing it and the more you try to force it the worse it gets. This is not, like I said, this is not removing yourself from the reality. It's getting yourself out of the way so the universe can do its work. That's what I think you really, really need. It's like, go to beautiful places, see beautiful things, get out there, live entertainment, concerts. It's, it's like you need life again. You're so, you, there's a feeling of such disconnect and, and it's scary because it's like disconnect from out there and your, your, your curiosities have also disconnected you in some ways from your heart and it needs reconnection. Be bold and make the first move. See, there's such a, there's such a simple, it's almost like step back and let the universe provide, but be bold and make the first move. So where are you making this first move? You're making the first move in your life. You're 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 stop you're not obsessing about your kingdom or about other people's problems. What you're doing is making the decision to get well, get better, and focus on getting who you are back and that everything else will fall into place. Um, this is maybe it's time to give this is Christmas time. So it's, it's around Christmas time and this is it. It's almost like Capricornian season, Virgo season. It's really time to figure out what do you want out of life? Like, who are you really? There's this sense of you've lost yourself so much. Maybe you've lost yourself in friends, too many friends in everybody else, or there's just this sense of being so concerned about everybody else. You sort of like lost your direction. What you need right now is to find who you are. Your friends will be there when you come back. There are multiple cards that are saying that your friends will be there and they will care about you and they are going to support you. Um, but you have to step out on this limb and try something that you haven't done before, which is to take yourself away from your people and to give yourself some space to heal. Let's see a little bit more about what this is about. Let's go to your um, animal um, spirit guides and see what your spirit guides have to say. These are animal totem spirit guides. So we have love is all around and then it's not so there's just a sense of feeling disconnected and also feeling like 
you're almost being criticized all the time. You're almost feeling like people don't love you the way that they should, or people are saying cr cruel things about you. There's a lot of criticisms that you've been hearing or coming in, lots of insults maybe, um, lots of backlash about something. This is, this is Gemini energy, but in reverse. So somebody really knows how to get to you and say things to you that are are easily gonna drive you crazy hold on i'm sorry um i apologize leo hold on okay so um be loyal to what who you what you love this is fourth house domesticity so it really is about your house and your home and who you care about. It really also is about loyalty. But there's a sense of the pe like loyalty almost being too aggressive or such aggressive loyalty or somebody attacking you that you thought was loyal to you. And that could have thrown you into um, just a sense of distrust of, I thought this person had my back. I thought this person, I knew this person better. This is also a sense of people in your life who, despite the criticisms, are going to be there for you. So this is like undying and unconditional um, support and concern. Um, um, your friend, this is probably in the recent past, um, your friends are really having your back and sticking up for you, um, taking over for you and saying, hey, you don't have a right to say this about Leo. Um, this is somebody that we love. It's almost like you know very, very well now who your real friends are, um, who's going to be there for you and who's not. This is also a sense of you somehow wanting to, there's a lot that's going on in your past. What's going on? Um, trying to find balance, trying to find peace or healing where there was none. This is also relationship. This is also love and I love you, but I think it's more about really literally peace because there was a discomfort here. You wanted to keep yourself out of it. It was almost a sense of I'm trying to keep myself out of it. I want to stay away from it. I want to, I want to keep my, I want to strategically keep myself away from it because this isn't my issue. These aren't my problems. Um, um, yeah, it's almost like you don't want the stickiness. Time for a deep dive and it's in reverse. So love disappointed. Be playful. It's like things got too deep, too fast. And all of a sudden they went thud. Um, love doesn't feel as happy anymore. There's a sense of heaviness or forceness to this relationship, to this romance. There's a sense of it's lost its joy. It's even lost its romance. It's it's lost its happiness. And but you're still loyal to it. You still you still like care about it. You still want to make it work, but where's the fun gone? Like where's the playfulness? Where's the adventure? Where's the happiness? Um God, everything is coming out in the past. You see clear. So this is discovering what the hell was wrong. And ultimately, this is courage and strength to be able to look at things, uh, to have the courage to see what the hell was going on underneath the surface. This is scorpionic energy, maybe even a Scorpio that you know, all of a sudden, like um, them telling you something, them revealing something to you that made something very, very clear to you, um, clarified things for you, and um, made you, I think, make a decision, a bold decision that uh, would surprise a lot of people. Let's see what it was. Um, let spirit be your guide lots of signs and lots of messages this is still very ambiguous I'm sorry um, lots of signs and lots of messages coming in receiving lots of signs and messages from spirit um, a truth coming out a truth a truth coming out oh are you oh it's you speaking the truth without fear or reservation okay um Let's, uh, spirit has a plan, but it's in reverse. So it's almost like you're going against spirit or, um, you felt very alone in this, or you felt not guided, you felt disconnected or, um, what is this? There is a sense of just feeling disconnected. Maybe you finally are able to talk about it because this has been going on a long time. You've been feeling like the magic lost or gone. 
Um, this is interesting. Truth transcends illusion. Um, this is once again the truth coming out. This is Aquarius energy, uh, opposite energy from you. Thinking more about other people or or something to do with the crowds. The truth about the truth, the tr truth coming out, truth in crowds, in the masses, like something about them generating a truth or the truth being revealed to them. You were saying the truth to a great deal of people. You were saying the truth and nobody wanted to listen to you. They thought you were a bunch of bullshit. They thought you were squawking. They thought you were just bad news or bad luck. Um, they did not realize that you were actually speaking from a place of truth. I think that they condemned you. This is what it, this is what the card means. That even though you were trying to say something honest to somebody, they condemned you. Now, you were being honest, but it doesn't mean that you were right. And ultimately, I think you understand that now. Not that you should change your opinion for other people, but there is just this sense of you realizing how very defensive you were about your behavior. And maybe you were a little bit over defensive and you took things too personally. And now you're like, shit, maybe I, it's not about, I don't have a right to believe what I believe, but it's almost like my opinions are my opinions. They're not necessarily fact. And it's almost like you're, you're finally starting to realize that, um, See, this is your friends still having your back. This is a loyal, loyal tribe. Um, this is rushing in, bum rushing in, things hurrying up, things moving quickly, um, not waiting and not having to wait anymore. But it could also be somebody who is an energy of somebody who's emotionally unavailable or who was making them, helping themselves get lost in um, whatever drug of their choice or whatever distraction of their choice um, to remain aloof and keep away from things. Um, and this is take a leap of faith. Well, it was definitely a leap of faith for you to say what you felt um, and say it out loud, hoping that people would be open-minded enough to respect your opinion or respect what you felt. But I feel like it was meant with a lot of uh, blockage. A lot of people were very closed down to what you had to say. And this has somehow very much impacted your life and how people see you and uh, even the way that you see people, because it's it's almost disappointed you a great deal. Your core tribe, however, is what is giving you hope and faith right now, um, because they have remained solid and they have remained loyal. And I think what that's doing, and that's why we have that fourth energy, is it's reminding you that you know what. Your popularity, your public, your your public, how, however people see you is one thing, but what's really most important is what's closest to home. Let's get into your um, uh, to a tarot card readings. I'm going to specify and go into specifics with this reading um, over in tarot. That link is below and it includes your romance reading as well. Um, but first, let's go into angel cards. Leo, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. I up Upload at least 12 pieces of content every single week and you'll get notified when all of them upload. Leo specific content comes out every single Friday. Um, so please do subscribe. And if you really love this video, share it on your uh, like it and then share it on your uh, different um, different social media profiles. If you would love to join me over on Instagram, I do a live reading there Monday through Friday. So it's born underscore without underscore boundaries. And I'm on vacation until January 5th, but uh, usually Monday through Friday, I do a live tarot card reading over there. So I'd love for you to join in. Um, and then also, of course, you can subscribe directly to Vimeo because um, I post extended readings for every single video I post here. And if you are subscribed over there, you get notified and access to the extended videos a day before these videos come out. And um, lots of times they reveal major stuff. So you might want to, you might be interested. Um, love, love is where we start. Okay. 
Um, the heart of love is the heart of creation. All is possible through love. All is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth. And that's 100% where your heart is. And you you rule the heart. You rule the heart chakra. Like that's, that's your space. Love and connection and connection to your purpose, your divine purpose in life is 100% what is Leo. It embodies your most spiritual holy self. So love is the most important thing to you and you have acted in love you have acted in fierce devotion to something positive outcome the sun is about to burst through the clouds there you go and you will soon see things in a different light now leo you are the sun right you're about to burst through all the confusion you're things are you are trying to make things clear and what was once sort of like put off and people didn't want to hear you they're going to listen um the sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. And this is interesting because it could um, imply a, um, it could imply a, um, a change of perspective in some ways, but also just a sense of, ah, uh, a little bit relief like somebody hit the relief valve and the pressure being pushed at you or the resistance toward you is going to lessen change life is a journey it would be very unfulfilling if each step was exactly the same as the last because life is always changing it is forever fresh and new allow your life to unfold gracefully and be grateful for what was is and forever will be oh wow this is this is your life is going through a major transition which is why you had so much aquarian energy in your reading um healing i the angel of healing am with you right now uh feel my presence and my unwavering love for you i have loved you before the dawn of time and i will love you for all eternity let yourself change let yourself grow let yourself be weak and let yourself know that you are always loved even when you are not perfect and even when you are lost without a kingdom sacred knowledge close your eyes and focus on your breath feel the peace within Beyond your thoughts lies your eternal truth, the I am presence of eternal love. It's like you're finding yourself again after a long time, like, like bumping your ass in the dark. There's a sense of finally realizing again, finally having the light shine on your face. Um, let's go over to tarot and get this, get all the specifics articulated. Um, I'll see you guys over there. The link is below. Happy holidays, Leo.